Good morning from Disney California Adventure. We are here this morning doing early entry. We are staying at Disney's Grand Californian, which means that you get into the parks 30 minutes before other guests and you can get on certain attractions. You do have to show your hotel key um, and we're gonna come right over here. I'm gonna show you the entrance specifically for hotel guests, where they go in and where we're headed. So this is where we're gonna go in. Everyone else who's not a hotel guest is going to line up there. But we're going right here through this entrance. This direction, please, down the street. Just so you can see the difference. These folks over here are lined up for rope drop at 7.30. This line right here that I'm in is for early entry guests and they will let us in at 7.30 and then this line will stay here and wait until eight o'clock to go in. All right, it is 7.30, here we go. So I am in the early entry guest line. You can see behind me, those are the rope droppers. The people behind will not get to come in until eight o'clock. They're probably waiting to go to racers or to go to an Incredicoaster. We are actually headed to Incredicoaster. There are only certain rides that are open during early entry. I've done a video about early entry, done early entry many times. There's different strategies and different ways you can go, different rides. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you today what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into Incredicoaster right now. Cars Land is open, but uh, the attraction, Radio Springs Racers, is not open during early entry, but you could head down there and line up. I do recommend getting in line for that attraction though, just before eight o'clock. Just before all the rope drop, get, rope drop guests down there, head into Cars Land. I have done that strategy where I've done Guardians of the Galaxy, or I've done Web Slingers, and then I head over to uh, Radio Springs Racers just before eight o'clock and it works out great. It's a great plan. Today I'm with a group. We've decided as a group, we wanna to go to Incredicoaster, open during early entry. I know we could probably ride at least two times actually during early entry and then hop in line for something else. All right, well, you win some, you lose some. And Credit Coaster is not open right now. Normally it is open during early entry, but sometimes attractions are not open when the parks open for early entry. So we're gonna pivot, head down to Toy Story and maybe the Incredit Coaster will open before eight o'clock, we'll see. Toy Story Midway Mania right here behind me is not open during early entry. So people are lining up because they don't have an option over here. The only thing open is Incredit Coaster and Incredit Coaster is down. So I always recommend looking in the app and it'll tell you like, right as the park opens at 7.30, what is open and you know, I've been here before when Guardians was not open. So it just, you never know what's going to not be open. Have a plan and a plan B, but we're already over here. So we're just gonna go get in line for Toy Story. So we just got off Toy Story. We rode it three times in a row. We're doing a little friendly competition over here, trying to see who can get the high scores. I did learn some things. If you work with the person next to you, who you are on their traction with, you do get uh, better results. So. Anyway, there are all sorts of tips out there, but on the, the lava one, so I did learn with the volcano that if you hit the volcano and you work together, then eventually balloons come out the top that have, they're worth more points. So anyway, little tidbit. And look what's open now. We're gonna go on in Credit Coaster. All right, I have not ridden in Credit Coaster in a really long time. Jen, can I do this? I absolutely. All right, I'm a little nervous, but I got this. We can do this. Oh, I survived. I have not done that ride in years because it's really tight on my knees, but this time it did not hurt. Um, it makes me a little nauseous, but I had a great time. That was really fun. My reward for riding in Credit Coaster after a really long time and enjoying it is a Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. So when you get off the ride right here at Incredit Coaster, right there's the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num location. And you guys, this is like the best chocolate chip cookie here at Disney California Adventure at the Incredicoaster. So even if you don't ride the ride, make sure you come and get one of these chocolate chip cookies because they are to die for. This is good for me. When I'm with a group, then I feel like I want to do all the things and be with the group. So again, we're going to do Guardians of the Galaxy. We have a lightning lane for Guardians right now. And I'm feeling pretty good. I can do this. Guardians of the Galaxy is such a fun like group ride. That was really fun. A bunch of us took the back row and we linked arms and we crossed our legs. And you guys, as we came up and down in the gantry, we literally like flew up in the air. So if you have a group of seven at least, take up the whole back row, that was really fun. 
Nice mask! I like to keep my identity secret also. Hey everyone! Welcome to Avengers Campus. Okay, it's time to see what this suit can do. Hope we can do this! back into Disney Grand Californian Hotel and this entrance anyone can use this you can go back in to the hotel into the lobby if you're a guest staying here you can only use this only guests can use it in the morning but this is the entrance so it's right here next to Grizzly River Run there's Grizzly River Run over there on that path or you can go this direction and go over to Soren Currently the wait time for Monsters Inc. is 30 minutes, so we got a buddy pass from the cast member and we're going to go in here in the exit and we're going to use the buddy pass to go through the exit. If you have two people or two and like a child, then you can go into the exit and it's basically like a single rider line. Take their buddy pass and you come here to the exit and then we're going to get on the ride when they tell us we can get on, but we don't have to wait the 30 minutes. Do you order your food? There is also seating out here I want to show you. It's really fun because you can come out here and you can sit out here and you can watch the cars go by on Radiator Springs Racers. So if you can come out here, you've got tables, chairs, so lots of places to eat. And you can see the cars race by. This is the Cobb salad. on this warmish day right here this is the strawberry bar looks good mm. okay that's really good i don't know if it's really good because it's just like kind of hot right now and it feels good to have a treat as we're waiting for the parade to start but this is a winner i like this one we just finished the better together better together parade and we are right here by the Golden Zephyr. And guess what? I'm gonna show you guys a little private entrance for hotel guests. Let's go right back to my room here at the Grand, or if you're staying at the Pixar Place Hotel. There's the Golden Zephyr. Come right over here by Corndog Castle and Seaside Souvenirs. Private entrance. Okay, 
So it says for Pixar Place Hotel guests, but you can also use this if you're headed back to the Grand. So we're gonna use this private entrance back into the Grand. And my room happens to be on this end of the Grand, but it doesn't matter where you're staying. That is another entrance to and from the parks to the, um, from the Grand. And I also showed you earlier in the video, there's an entrance for um, guests over by Grizzly River Run back in and back and forth into the hotel. And that one is for anyone can use the one over by Grizzly River Run. This right here is the entrance. We're gonna go back into the Grand. My room is just down there on the first floor. So we're gonna head back in here, go take a little break, which is one of the other perks of being right here on property. It's so close. Hello, I am back home and I thought it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about what happened in the video, give you guys some tips some recommendations because even, I mean, I do this all the time and things can go wrong. So my goal is to help you guys have the most magical time to make the most out of your experience. So let's talk just a little bit about some things because we don't want a, a bad experience to ruin our day. Uh, maybe some other things that we could plan or plan ahead so that we can avoid these things. I mean, a, an attraction down like in Credicoaster during early entry, that is not something that I could have avoided. There's no way you can plan for something like that. So it's always good to have a plan B. But let's talk a little bit about my experience and maybe some things that we could do um, ahead of time to plan so that if a ride is down during early entry, what do you do? You can do everything right and you can plan, but a ride could be down when the parks open, a ride could be down during early entry. There's no way for you to know that ahead of time. So let's talk through a little bit about some things that you can do. Incredicoaster on the day that I was there, the group that I was with, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to go to Incredicoaster and do it a couple times. You could potentially do Incredicoaster two to three times during early entry back to back to back before the park even opens to um, guests. So that is an option. So that's what kind of our plan was, but that backfired when we got over there and then Credit Coaster was closed. So what did we do? Well, when you're all the way over on that side of the park, there's no other retractions that are open during early entry. So our best bet was to go with plan B and to wait it out, see if the attraction opened, which it didn't, or get in line for the attraction closest by that would get a line built up um, as soon as the park opened, and that was Toy Story. So we ended up going on Toy Story back to back to back three times, and we waited hardly anything in line. So that actually ended up being a plus. So try and pivot and make the best out of the situation. Another option is in during early entry is go over to a different side of the park. Like I recommend either doing Soren or Web Slingers or Guardians of the Galaxy because all three of those attractions are kind of close to each other. And if for whatever reason, one of them isn't open during your early entry, you can quickly pivot to the other one. And then that sets you up for being on that side of the park and you can immediately get in line for racers before it opens um, to rope drop guests because racers is not open during early entry, but you could get in line for something like that, but you could have a plan. You could be set up for success. Now, did we let the ride and credit coaster not being open ruin our day? No, you saw still how much we got done in those early morning hours. They are crucial. That is probably the best time to get on attractions and to wait the least amount of time for those attractions. No matter what, there might be times where you have to pivot. You could have the best of plans set up and still things aren't gonna go your way and that's okay. All you gotta do is have a plan B, go to another backup plan, try something different, but make the most of that time. If you've made the effort to get up and get up that early, then go do the attractions that are open and the wait times are so minimal in the morning. So take advantage of that while you're there. Um, if you want to watch a successful early entry at Disney California Adventure, I have a video here on my channel. I have two different mornings that we were able to do the things that we wanted to do. Um, I show you how to get in line for racers before the park even opens and we had a really great day. So I hope that you learned from this video. That is my intention. And if you did, I sure hope that you would like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more Disney content and you can learn how to do the parks like a pro.